another week of power back welcome back to some more stoneworks i am stormer gaming and today i am here with a brand new vehicle for myself i just finished it up the other day and it is a really lightweight fire truck here built to just be able to have very high maneuverability and whatnot and be able to get to remote forest fires faster and more efficiently than other heavier fire trucks so you can use this in a full fleet with your friends so that you can be that first responder. Getting to a fire first while the heavy hitters, the battleships and whatnot come in behind you there. And this has been a project into working for a couple days here. And actually I built it because the other ones just honestly couldn't get up some of the hills around here. But I soon realized this one couldn't really get up those hills either and it was more so because of the wheels having that slip problem yet again so once that was fixed this friday it seems like even those large fire trucks don't have as many problems but still i have an amazing little fire truck built here today and before i do start fighting some fires with this here i have a giveaway to talk about so if you guys do want to click to that timestamp up there you can jump forward so the second part to the code is ever stormworks video titled that is ever stormworks video titled and you're gonna have to piece that together with the first part from the last episode so yeah that will be the giveaway and of course dropping that in the giveaway zone in my discord will win you that key if you are the first person to put it there Anyways, back to the vehicle here. I have christened it number 103 with a couple different numbers around and the huge one on the roof there. Of course, it is equipped with a small cannon, just one of the standard ones on here. I thought about building a larger cannon onto it, but soon realized it took a lot of space to put one up on the roof here. And we're not going to look at the stuff down there. Let's talk about the cannon and whatnot. I do actually have a cannon controlling seat right here so you can turn that on water pump and whatnot and you have a full 2000 liters of water to fight whatever fires you need to of course that does kind of bog down the truck a little bit while driving around but in general it's a lot lighter than other main fire truck vehicles there so on the back end we do have a couple other things that you can use here we do have the water tank meter there just in case you don't want to climb up there and you just want to see how much you have we do also have two winches available one of them with an electric collector just in case you do need to help somebody maybe restart a vehicle with a dead battery or just a small connector with the large winch in here so both of those are options and of course, the biggest feature to this vehicle that I haven't done in other ones is just the plain art style of it. I spent a lot more of my time on this vehicle trying to make it look pretty realistic to the actual thing. And I'm going to drop a photo up here of what I was kind of getting inspiration to. And you can kind of see, well, let's drop them side by side, something like this to that. I mean, of course, it's a little bit different in Stormworks just because I was fitting in that medium engine and whatnot and a couple different things of course we are limited to the game but of course this is for the srg fire department stormrunner gaming fire department and just like that other truck it's based on actually the full base of that truck is the beginning of where i started this fire truck here we do have four seats in here and i did drop in two firefighting outfits just in case you didn't already suit up at the station already and as we jump around, most of the interior of the vehicle is pretty similar, although I have added in a couple new features from newer updates, like those speakers and whatnot in here, as well as I have changed around the park, drive, and reverse to three distinct buttons instead of that throttle, because as I saw more and more people using the vehicle, it seemed like... Um, just most people didn't know how to use it so i opted out for this much simpler system that works pretty well of course it still does connect to that screen and tell you what you are in as well as if you do have a very remote one that does take some 4 by 4 you have that low gear to use as well so that should hopefully help you get wherever you need to go probably actually outperforming some of those huge fire trucks Anyways, we do have automatic engine and whatnot, so we can get going here pretty well. And if we do have a fire to respond to, 
We also have emergency lights on here as well, covering the entire vehicle. And actually, one of the things I love to look at, if we drop into that creative options menu, the nighttime look of this, I do apologize that a lot of the game behind it is dark, but the actual aesthetics of the vehicle here look pretty cool. I mean, of course we don't have ray tracing or anything in Stormworks, but just the flashing lights and everything. And of course we do have like headlights, backlights, all the other generic stuff that was on the vehicle prior, but I don't know. I think it's got a cool style to it. So now the big testing feature here that we actually have to throw at it now is setting up a fire and fighting with it. I actually have tested it out once or twice, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, it does work, but I just want to show it off a little bit to you guys. It is pretty effective, and it seems like it can take out a decently sized fire without, ha without having to, without running out of the water in the tank here. That, and with this its small, meager size, it's got a top speed of 124 miles an hour, which is probably going to destroy the other fire trucks that are currently out there. I think that was my only goal with this thing. It was making it so much more nimbler and quicker to a fire than other vehicles. Then again, if it is a full-on raging forest fire here, you may start to be getting... start to be getting? Start getting some problems of running out of water in there with the limited 2,000 liters there, but it has to be a really big forest fire for that to even remotely be a possibility there. All right, and we grabbed our blue fire starting truck here, and we can just drive it out to the middle of nowhere, let it keep running, and go and grab the fire truck after that. Do I actually... Headlights. Yep. Need a little bit of headlights and backlights on this thing as well, and a couple brakes. We are actually at the eastern, um, how do you put it, the eastern runway, eastern hangar over here, instead of the western one, because this one has... A, a lot closer for us so we don't have to hike in the middle of nowhere like the previous one but all I gotta do is drop this guy in park and rev that engine in a minute or two we should have a nice forest fire going all right break out those marshmallows we got a nice campfire going on here that should start a forest fire here um do we want to start yeah we do want to start a forest fire I was gonna say for a second I'm listening to myself talking and I'm like storm why would you want to start a forest fire but then I'm realizing that's the whole goal here. And actually, I, something that somebody pointed out from one of my previous videos, I was talking about the um, that crackling sound you hear behind me. Here, I'll, sh I'll be quiet for a second here. You hear that nice crackling off of the engine and probably a couple of the trees that are already starting to burn. Um, I was talking about it in a previous episode, and I stopped talking for like 5-10 seconds on there, but I didn't realize... That, or I didn't cut the music out of it, so I just wanted to add a little bit of that nice crackling fire sound effect they added into here, into my video here. Mm, nice and warm. And something I didn't actually think about, I wonder, are there any trees in the Arctic? And if so, do they have snow in them? And can you set them on fire? That might be an upcom an up and coming video here. Man, I'm stepping on all of my words today, apparently. I can't speak. But we do have a forest fire, so we gotta quickly run over, grab our fire truck, and attack the forest fire here. Alright, by now we should have a pretty good forest fire going on here. It's been what like 10, 12 hours in game. We're like midday almost now. So I mean, it's grown a little bit, but I mean, we've got the flashing lights on and everything. The, I don't know, not ambiance, but like the effect of the lights definitely doesn't take as well in the daytime versus nighttime. But now we have to jump up to that roof command center here that pops out of here. Opening that up and start fighting some forest fires. I actually haven't, did we actually just take out that tree almost instantly? Wow, this is, um, easier than I thought. Why, why did I just study taking out fire in college? Jeez, this is, uh... Ah, Aziz is taking candy from a baby, apparently. Look at this go. Apparently I can't take out the truck, but... Taking out the trees is seemingly quite easy. 
But at least with the amount of water I'm putting on them and whatnot, I might have to move forward a little bit because the truck's still setting stuff on fire. But the range of this thing, actually, that's a really good range, though. We got one tree back there that I think is still technically on fire, so if I move it forward... <laughs> now if I drive it around... Oh, I turned the engine off. That's not good news. Go, go, go! Give me some power! We got one more tree on fire. Let's see if I can angle it. Is that another one over there? Okay, I got that one. Turn to my left. Hit those brakes. I'm gonna drop it in the park there. We got one more tree to hit. Let's see... Somewhere there. This would definitely be a bigger challenge if you didn't have third person to look around for trees and whatnot that were on fire. I'm a little bit confused though because it hasn't given me the um, the forest fire cleared yet. I thought it always did that. Oh wait, there's one more in there. It's Jeff in there making marshmallows. There we are. So with minimal damage, I mean we let it uh, burn for a couple hours here at least in game. Probably real life it was like four or five minutes I let it burn. I'm surprised it didn't spread anymore. And we still have, well, 1,200 liters of water. So, depending on the size, I really want to see if I can get a huge fire going. So I'm just going to let it go for at least a little while here. And see if I can make a fire just really grow. Alright, so that mega fire outside is brewing very well, actually. And we're going to jump straight into the fire truck here. Because we have a lot of fire to actually put out here. And one of the things I did was I uh, spread the fire out a little bit as well. I now have um, two trucks out there that have set the fire ablaze. The one that has a very large circle in front of me that keeps growing further and further out. And there is one to the left of that somewhere that used to be much further, but it's almost, probably almost at the edge of it now. So one of the things we have to do, I think, is just controlling this fire is a big concern right here. Actually, we probably don't want to leave these lights on because, well, the engine's running, so the generator should be running fine. Let's get this thing up and running already, and we can hopefully take out this entire edge of the fire very fast, but my one problem with this is now I need to jump into that, um, the driver's seat and move us around to find the next location of the fire. We still have a little bit of fire out there. Let's see if we can reach. Come on, reach. Reach for the top of the shelf. Reach for the tree. Oh, it looks like we're hitting it. There we are. It gave us the registry of it. Now we got some fire over there. It's actually a little bit easier than I expected to take some of these trees out. But with the amount of trees we need to take out today, I do want to conserve water as much as humanly possible here. All right, come on, give us a little bit of power. We're perfectly good on fuel. This thing has what, 1,400 liters of fuel, so we have no problem probably crossing the entire mega island. All right, we have a whole other branch of the fire over here. Dropping that into park yet again and jumping over to the roof. So if you had a two-man team operating this, this could be a, a really efficient operation here. Of course, after a while, if you have enough fires, I think... You would have to go and refill the tank here, but in general, it's working out pretty well here. I still have, wow, 1,600? 1,600 liters of fuel there. Or liters of water, excuse me. And we've only got two more spots left. It seems like the secondary truck didn't actually set off much of any fires. And that there's just a lot of toothpicks sticking out of the ground anymore. Alright, so let's jump out. We've got... That fire dangerously close to us already. Let's do a little bit of first person firefighting here. All right, come on, we got one more tree left. And there we go. Do we think we got long range here? It's fire sniping 101. If you could actually shoot fire that far, or shoot fire, shoot water that far. Maybe with the specialized nozzle or something. Alright, we only have one more branch that might actually burn itself out over there. I'm surprised at how um, efficient it is to actually take out these things. So, what's the big purpose of huge the huge fire trucks on the workshop carrying like 10-12,000 liters of fuel when it 
I guess, burdens them. It weighs them down so much to carry that much water. Did I say fuel earlier? I meant water, but I don't know. That's just a big disadvantage to them. You'd think you'd want it to be a little bit lighter, only hold maybe a few thousand liters. You probably at least want like a thousand liters, even if you're doing something like I've built here, like a small firefighting truck and whatnot. You want something pretty small, pretty light. So you should go, but you don't want too small amount of water. Because, I mean, well, I haven't even used a thousand, and I'm taking out that huge fire there. That was the wrong order for buttons. All right, so, I mean, I guess it is champion of the forest fires here. Um, don't pay attention to the toothpick army out there. Um, that was on purpose, because I just wanted to see what it was able to do. And a quick tip, it seems like when you are fighting those forest fires, as I'm bringing it back into the workshop here, it's better to actually shoot the base of the tree than actually kind of where the fire is. Because it seems like the hitbox and whatnot for putting the, the fire out with water there is more near the base of the tree than anything else. So, I may have to test that in a future episode, but that's kind of a hunch of mine as I'm going around taking out all of these forest fires today. So yeah, that has been my brand new vehicle. It will be up on the workshop, and if you do want to grab it, help me get a featured vehicle up on the workshop, um, I will leave a link to it down below in that description. And also, I'd like to send a quick congratulations to whoever wins that key to Stormworks there. Um, I'll be looking at that chat as much as I can after this video comes out to make sure I get the first person there. But yeah, that is where I will be ending this episode here. So of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. My people need me and I need to go.